We turn now to the battle over immigration and one state that's not waiting for Congress or the Biden administration to act. Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed a new law allowing the state to arrest people suspected of crossing the border illegally. That's usually a job for federal law enforcement. As Ed O'Keefe reports, it's setting up an immigration showdown. From the campaign trail to the halls of Congress, the fight over security at the southern border is heating up as the clock is ticking down to get a funding bill passed that also includes aid to Israel and Ukraine. Finding the middle ground is exceptionally hard, and both sides must accept that they will have to make concessions. We cannot afford to get this wrong. On Monday, Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott signed two border bills into law, one providing $1.5 billion to build new barriers along the southern border. The other makes it a state crime to cross the border illegally, giving local law enforcement greater authority. Critics say that could lead to racial profiling. Biden's deliberate inaction has left Texas to fend for itself. The move comes as data obtained by CBS News shows last week the Border Patrol apprehended nearly 7,900 people each day, up from 6,000 daily in October. We built a tremendous piece of the wall. And, then we and as former wall. President Donald Trump is facing criticism for how he described migrants, the Biden campaign compared it to Nazi rhetoric. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America. But a new CBS News poll finds a majority of GOP voters in early voting states do favor the mass deportation of undocumented immigrants. We don't know where these people are coming from. They're exhausting our system. In Washington, CBS News has learned the White House and bipartisan negotiators are discussing changes to immigration policy that could include expelling migrants without processing their asylum claims. The deal being worked on with Congress could also expand the detention of migrants allowed to stay in the country pending decisions on their asylum court cases. But the president's walking a fine line here. He's got warnings from progressive lawmakers and activists that negotiating too much away with Republicans could suppress turnout for his reelection next year. Ed, thank you.